Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be thickening up our pottery and making it 3D printable and also fixing some scaling issues. So notice if I click on my pottery and zoom out, this piece of pottery is tiny. And that's why I like having this uh, you know, 3D print bound box so that we can tell right away that our scale is way too small. So to fix it, let's just hit S and scale it up. You know, you can scale it as big or as small as you want. I'm gonna keep mine pretty small, somewhere, you know, kind of close to uh, 50 millimeters. So I'm just gonna hold shift and just get it to where it kind of lands at 50 on the X and Y. And notice that our scale is all out of whack, but let's just leave it for now because I wanna show you why this is important. So just leave your scale. I know it could be painful for some, but just leave it for just a moment and we'll fix it. So make sure you have your pottery selected and let's zoom in so you can kind of see what's going on here. And we're gonna add a new modifier. So go to your modifiers uh, panel, click on add modifier, and we are gonna use the solidify. And if the thickness is set to 0 0.01, so it's really, really thin, but let's say we want this piece of pottery to have a wall thickness of one millimeter. So just type in one, hit enter, wow. So look at that, it looks crazy weird, right? And that is because our scale is out of whack. It's actually multiplying this probably, you know, the thickness one times 16. So it's very, very not true. <laughs> so a way to fix it, just click on the object, make sure you're in object mode and do control A, and we're gonna apply scale. Boom, there we go. So now it's back to one and our thickness is actually a true one millimeter. So that's the way you can, that's why I always want you to keep an eye on your scale because it really works, you know, in tandem with a lot of your modifiers. So um, it's going to keep everything flowing very nicely. So I'm liking that. It's a little too thick for me. I'm going to drop it down to maybe like 0.5 and notice the offset is negative one. That's good. But one thing I notice, let's go to front view. We've got a 45 degree, almost a 45 degree angle here. So that shouldn't have any issues 3D printing. Uh, but one thing we can do is hit even thickness and that will make it more like our curvature line. So make sure you've got even thickness if you want it. And if we go into wireframe mode, you can kind of see the difference. So see how there's kind of like this inside layer of a half a millimeter. If we turn that off, it kind of does that. But if we turn it back on, it, it kind of mimics the inside there. So that's looking pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and twiddle that up. Let's go back to uh, EV mode. And looky there, we've got a nice piece of pottery with a hole in the bottom. Now it's time to 3D print it. So just click on your object, go into your 3D print and toolbox tab. You can check all. It does say we have some non-manifold edges. So if we go into edit mode, if we click on that, it's really just highlighting um, our lines, you know, our, our edges here. So that's okay, don't worry about that. Uh, we do have some zero edges, which I'm not really seeing, but it shouldn't be a problem. So let's go ahead and export. So we'll do export, tell Blender where we want to save it. So just click on this little folder. And I'm gonna put it in an STL folder. And this is just saying where we want the files to land. Hit accept and export. And we'll get a nice little confirmation down here at the bottom. And now let's go into our slicer of choice. Go ahead and save your Blender project. And I'm just gonna open this up into Simplify 3D. You can use any slicer you want. And looky there, we've got this adorable, cute little piece of pottery that can be 3D printed. Now let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we'll talk about some bonus effects and how to slice this for 3D printing.